This is my favorite winter jacket. I bought it four years ago during the polar vortex and it has kept me warm every winter since. Well, except for this winter because clearly it's not zipping up, but that aside, having a downfill jacket certainly means you're making an investment, but it will keep you warm winter after winter. The caveat is you have to figure out how to take care of it properly, and that means how to wash it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the proper and safe way to clean your downfill jacket at home. Here are a few things to keep in mind before you actually get down to the business of laundering your jacket. First and foremost, anytime I talk about cleaning anything garment wise, I tell you to check the fabric care label. This is there for a good reason. The manufacturer took the time to explain to you exactly how to take care of your very expensive down coat. So do yourself a favor and just figure that part out first. One more important thing to do before you actually put your jacket into the wash is to remove anything that's made with fur. So if you have a hood that's fur lined, just unzip it and take it off. You can treat that separately. If you do want to clean your fur lining, you can use a soft bristle brush and just take care of that yourself, or you can take it to a furrier. Now, a few other tips before you get washing is to make sure that your jacket is zipped up all the way, your pockets are emptied, and that all Velcro fasteners are closed. If you've ever looked at something that's been laundered that has Velcro, it has like, you know, little strings and stuff woven in there, just by closing up that Velcro, that'll change everything for you. You are finally ready to put this jacket in the washing machine. Okay, so a front load washer is preferable because you don't have that center agitator that can kind of mess things up when it comes to the loft. So stuff it in there, leave it by itself. You don't want to put other things into the mix. You're going to use cold water to do this particular load. And when it comes to choosing a detergent, you want to pick something that's gentle. Now, because you're investing a significant amount of money in a jacket like this, I would recommend just getting a down specific laundry detergent. And I will link some good options for you in the description box down below. When it comes to adding anything else to the wash, so that's bleach, fabric softener, vinegar, or even essential oils, if that's anything that you normally add to your laundry mix, I'm gonna say don't add any of it when you're washing your downfill jacket. You wanna keep it simple, so just stick to that special down detergent or something that's super gentle. As soon as that buzzer dings, make sure that you go down to the washing machine, take the jacket out and get it directly into the dryer. You don't wanna let it sit even for a few minutes because mold and mildew can start to form in the down and trust me, you don't wanna deal with that. That is not a pretty smell and this is an expensive jacket. I cannot say that enough. So put it into the dryer and you can either add three tennis balls stuffed into tube socks and tied off or if you have dryer balls hanging around. You can throw a bunch of those into the wash. That's what I do. And that is going to help tumble out any of the moisture, but also restore and even out the loft of the feathers. Now you're going to tumble dry on a low heat and you might need to do this for an hour or an hour and a half. You wanna check as soon as the buzzer goes off to see if all of the moisture has come out. You can sort of hold it up to your mouth do a little breathe in and see if you get any moisture coming out of the jacket. If you do, it means that you still have some more tumble drying to do. And if you don't, it means that your jacket is done. You know your jacket better than anyone else. My recommendation is to play it by ear. If you need to wash your jacket a couple of times a season, that's fine. You don't have to get obsessive about it. I wash mine one to two times a season depending on how it's looking. Now, a light color jacket will probably need a little bit more attention than a darker color jacket, so just keep that in mind too. If you want to avoid washing, there are a couple of things that you can do, or if you just want to extend the time between washings, here are a couple of tricks. A lot of the jackets are made with very durable and easy to clean fabrics, so if you happen to have a salt stain or a little stain on the exterior of your jacket, Oftentimes, even just a dampened cloth can wipe away those stains. If it's something a little tougher, you can put a little bit of vinegar on that and that should really help remove the stain. Don't worry, it won't smell. 
The other thing you can do if you notice that the loft is a little bit off or if the jacket has been in storage for a while and you kind of want to pep things up, you can just take the jacket and put it into your dryer on the air only or the fluff cycle. And this will just help restore evenness to the loft. Now don't forget, you have to put those dryer balls, those tennis balls or even clean tennis shoes into the dryer along with the jacket. That will really help beat things out and even out your loft. When springtime rolls around and it is time to no longer wear your downfill jacket, honestly, I fantasize about that moment, make sure that you store it in a fabric garment bag instead of a plastic garment bag. The jacket can't breathe in plastic and good things don't happen when natural fibers are stored in plastic. So just stick with fabric and you'll be good. Once you know how to take care of your downfilled coat, it will last you for years. And I'm not just saying that as an exaggeration. I plan on keeping my jacket for 20 years. That was a decision I made when I bought it because it was quite the outlay. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, what's your take on a downfilled jacket? Do you think it's worth the investment? Have you crossed that bridge, made that leap, spent the money, and is it worth it? Like, have you enjoyed the jacket? or? Would you have preferred to keep the money in your pocket and buy something a little less expensive? I'd love to hear in the comments down below. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn more about our Makers Microfiber Cleaning Cloths, you can click this button right over here. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.